Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have uh, 5 times of 4 and 4 times of 8 into 9 and its whole square root. So we find the square root of this algebraic expression. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we break these 3 numbers. So uh, here first we have uh, 5 times of 4 and because uh, and other have 5 numbers so we replace uh, here 5 zeros and plus we after that we have this uh, 4 times of 8 so we write it as 8 into 8 into 8 and we have one number after that we so we write 1 0 and at the last we have 9 so we write it as the square root of this whole term so now after that we uh, again rewrite this expression as uh, so we write this uh, 5 times of uh, 4 because these are 1 2 3 4 5 0 so we write it as 10 raised to power 5 plus here we write this expression as 4 times of 8 and we have 1 0 so we write it as 10 raised to power 1 plus 9 and its whole square root so after that here uh, we take common 4 from these terms and we write it as 4 times of 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1 and multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 plus here we take common 8 and we get 1, 1, 1 and 1, 4 times of 1 and multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 plus 9 and it's a whole square root. So now after that, uh, here you see that these are uh, one five times of one, and uh, we write it as square root of four into. If uh, we write this as nine 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 five times of nine divided by nine, because we know that when uh, five times of nine divided by nine, then we get our answer is five times of one and this is multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 plus here we have 4 times of 1 and we write it as 9 9 9 and it is divided by 9 so when we divide these two numbers then we get 4 times of 1 and it is multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 plus 9 and its whole square root so after this step uh, we uh, again uh, rewrite this expression as square root of 4 into we write this expression as 1 into 5 0 and minus 1 because when we uh, subtract this number by minus 1 then you get here 5 times of 9 and this whole divided by 9 it, and it is multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 plus here we have 8 and we write this as 1 into 4 times of 0 and minus 1 divided by 9 and it is multiplied by 10 raised to power 9 plus 9. So after this step, uh, we uh, write this in a simplified form. And we have 4 times of this is 1 into 5 times of 0. And we write it as 10 raised to power 5 minus 1 divided by 9. And it is multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 plus here we have 8 into we write this as 10 raised to power 4 minus 1 and it is divided by 9 in and multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 plus 9. So in the next step we uh, have more simplification. So here we multiply 10 raised to power 5 and 4 on both of these numbers and we write it as 4 times of 10 raised to power 10 because when uh, 10 raised to power 5 is multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 it will become 10 raised to power 10 minus this 4 multiplied by 1 becomes 4 and this 10 multiplied by 1 becomes 10 raised to power 5 and this whole divided by 9 plus similarly here we multiply 10 and 8 on both of these terms and we get 8 multiplied by 10 raised to power 4 into 10 becomes 10 raised to power 5 minus 8 multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 and it is divided by 9 plus 9. And now in the next step uh, here we need to take the LCM of uh, all of these terms so that when we take LCM so our LCM is 9 
so uh, this 9 is divided by 9 and we get 4 times of uh, 10 raised to power 10 minus 4 times of 10 raised to power 5 plus 8 times of 10 raised to power 5 minus 8 times of 10 raised to power 1 plus this 9 times of 9 becomes 81. And after that here we need a little bit simplification. So you see here we have this is uh, square root of uh, 4 times of 10 raised to power 10 and this is 4 times of 10 raised to power 5 plus 8 times of 10 raised to power 5 becomes 4 times of uh, 10 raised to power 5 and this is 10 times of 8 becomes 80 and minus 80 plus 81 becomes plus 1 and this is divided by 9. So uh, we again uh, rewrite this expression as uh, so we write this as uh, 2 times of uh, 2 times of uh, 10 raised to power 5 and its whole square because uh, 2 uh, the square of 2 becomes 4 and the square of 10 raised to power 5 becomes 10 raised to power 10 plus we write this as 2 into 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 plus 1 because 2 times of 2 becomes 4 times of 10 raised to power 5 and the square root of this term and divided by we know that the square root of 9 is 3. So after that uh, here we just take that uh, y equals to 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5. So when we substitute this value here so our above expression becomes because we take this value equals to y. So it will becomes y square plus this is 2 and we take this value uh, y and this is plus 1 and this whole divided by 3. So uh, after that uh, if you see uh, on this expression so this is the uh, whole square of y plus 1 because when you take y plus 1 whole square it is equals to y square plus 2y plus 1 divided by 3. So this 2 and square root are cancelled by each other and we get y plus 1 divided by 3. So we have the value of y is this 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5. So we write it as 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 plus 1 divided by 3. So here we need calculator to simplify this expression. Uh, so here we know that 10 raised to power 5 is written as 1 into 5 times of 0 plus 1 divided by 3. So this will become 2 time of 5 0 plus 1 divided by 3 and here we get 2 into 4 0 into 1 divided by 3. So when we divide this expression by 3 so finally we get here 6 6 6 6 into 7. So this is the our final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.